In 2022, India saw the hottest ever April in over 122 years. Everywhere, there's a talk of temperature reaching new highs. These numbers here say how hot it is, but it doesn't tell us how the heat is going to impact our bodies. To understand this, we need the wet bulb temperature. Before we get into what exactly is the wet bulb temperature and what else can it tell us, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so you can never miss our videos. Follow us on Facebook, Insta and Twitter for all our videos. And now back to our video. Weather reports give us daily updates about maximum and minimum temperatures recorded in any location. The most common way to do this is take a thermometer. The temperature reading it gives you is the dry bulb temperature or your regular temperature. A heat wave, for instance, is when the IMD says the recorded temperature is 4.5% to 6.4% higher than average recorded temperature. Again, the temperature here is the dry bulb temperature. When someone says, hey, it's 36 degrees outside, they are referring to dry bulb temperature. But this doesn't say how our bodies are going to perceive this. This is what wet bulb temperature tells us how our bodies are going to respond to heat. Basic Biology In order to deal with the heat, the human body sweats to cool down. But a combination of intense heat and high humidity make it difficult for sweat to evaporate. In which case, the body doesn't cool down. So in other words, wet bulb temperature is also the lowest temperature that any body, be it a human body or an object like the thermometer, can reach by evaporation. But how do you measure wet bulb temperature? When you wrap the thermometer in a wet cloth and ensure a strong wind is blown through it, the reading you get is the wet bulb temperature. The wet bulb temperature is always lower than the dry bulb temperature because in wet bulb temperature, evaporation takes place. With evaporation, heat escapes with water, cooling down the bulb. When someone says the wet bulb temperature is low, that means the air is dry and can hold a lot of water vapor. Conversely, when wet bulb temperature is high, it means the air is high in water content and your body might have some difficulty in cooling down. As the wet bulb temperature increases, it gets harder for your body to cool down, which in some cases can be fatal. A wet bulb temperature of 31 degrees Celsius is harmful to most human beings. When it reaches 35 degrees Celsius, most human beings won't survive for more than 6 hours. That's why the wet bulb temperature is important, especially in sports and military settings as this is the value that determines whether it's a good day for a workout and training or should we stay away from the ground lest we get a heat stroke and collapse or even die. This is not as far-fetched as you might think since we are living at the edge of a climate catastrophe. The IPCC second working group report suggests that as heat waves increase in the Ganges and in this basin, the wet bulb temperature is likely to cross the 35 degrees Celsius, the threshold beyond which humans cannot adapt if we continue to go about without attempting to reduce the greenhouse gases. To know more about the IPCC report, do watch our previous videos by clicking above. The links are also in the description. Since the wet bulb temperature affects our functioning and productivity, it is directly connected to the economy. Right now, the weather apps show only the dry bulb temperature. But soon, they might have to include wet bulb temperatures as well. So that's it. Now you know what wet bulb temperature is. Is there anything else you want us to explain? Leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to follow Deccan Herald on all our social media platforms. Thank you.